Now, there's three basic types of coin, right? A circulated coin, and then there's the one that's been kept, which is the uncirculated coin, and then there's the quality of strike, different strike, a proof. Every time without fail, that proof not only is the best looking piece, it's also the rarest piece. Well, tonight, we bought a deal of Roosevelt's, and we thought they were gonna be mostly unks, they ended up being about 50-50. So tonight we have a crazy deal on Roosevelt, silver Roosevelt dimes in proof. Now tonight we're calling it our five and five P and S deal. That is the price receipts for all 10. And what it basically breaks down to is this. When proofs were made available to the American public in 1950, the dime was the Roosevelt. When Philadelphia stopped making those proofs in 1964, right, we had that span of 15 years. Five of the coins in the 10-pack will be Philadelphia proofs. You're seeing that top shelf right now. Then we pushed everything to San Francisco. But when we did that, everything was copper clad. We pulled 90% silver from our dimes in 64. Clads were 65. But for the 25th anniversary of the San Francisco Mint making our proof coins, which is 1992, they brought back 90% silver now from the San Francisco Mint. So an S Mint on a silver dime for the first time in U.S. history. And it's been that way ever since. So tonight we broke it into two deals. There you can see that first year of issue, 92S. Every one of our groupings will have a 92S in it. It's that special. It's that significant. The competition sells that 92S by itself for $15, period. It's just one of our 10. So you'll get five from 1964 backwards, all Philadelphia proofs, and then you're going to get five from 1992 forward, San Francisco proofs, both of them silver. Let's do some math. $49.95 divided by 10 means you're under $5 a coin. For silver, 90% silver Roosevelt dimes. But now the proof, the rarer version. If you look at my competition, the Philadelphias from the 1960s are between $23 and $25 a coin. So five times 23 is a buck and change, right? The 1950s are 29 to 35, and ours have some 50s in it. And then when you go to the 1992, right there, the San Francisco's silver versions, and you roll forward with it, the lowest price coin they had was 14. So 14 times 5 is 70. So their five coins are $20 more. Their five Philadelphia coins are double our price. Ours are tonight a 10-pack, five and five. And we're under $5 a coin, 50 bucks for the deal. Phones are very busy. They're actually, they haven't slowed down since the last product we had available. They're still driving hard. This one makes it even easier. Um, guaranteeing different coins. Obviously, the five and five will be no questions asked all different for the first group. If you're looking for more than one group, I want to say we have seven or eight different P mint mark coins in stock right now. So those will have some duplicates involved. We have a good grouping of the last 25 years of San Francisco silver proof Roosevelt's. So that's where you'll be seeing different coins, a different group of five. So realistically, uh, if you bought two deals, you're going to see seven or eight different P's, and you'll see 10 different S's. That's a pretty consistent thought from the groupings that I saw. And again, we bought this deal of coins that were in capsules, and they were all supposed to be uncirculated, which for this price was a, a good deal for us. We looked at it and said, well, like, people are going to be happy. 
And then after sorting it out, there were some proofs in there. A pleasant surprise for all of us. But the best part is it just means that we're now selling you the rarer versions of silver, the proof version, the, made, the ones made only in proof sets, remember? Only in proof sets. And they're under $5 a coin. So, love it? Absolutely. Can't live without it? Not really. Because where can you get $5 uncirculated silver Roosevelt's? Now, the uncirculated P's and D's would be 64 back, no different than the P side of the proof, right? After that, the last 50 plus years, the Roosevelt's have been copper clad. Now that we have silver proof sets from San Francisco, that started right there in 1992 for the 25th anniversary set. We loved it so much, they've been making it ever since. That's where the other silver comes from. Phones are crazy busy. Guys, we got to put a one minute clock up. Thank you. So again, Five Philadelphia silver proofs. They date from 1950 through 1964. As I said, there's seven or eight different that were in this grouping we bought. The ideal is five different, all of them will be different your first run. So if you buy more than one run, you're going to be seeing seven or eight, which means a couple of dupes on the Philadelphia side. Worth it because my competition is what? $25 a coin. Then you get to the San Francisco side. From 1992 to the present, we have a good mix of those, which means you'll be getting different coins if you're buying multiples, and I see a number of you are, because again, at $5 for a silver 90% dime, it's a good deal. Now that we're saying they're proof, and half of them are vintage P's, and the other half are San Francisco S's, yeah, I want in too. Save me a few, please. But we have to be moving on.